Good evening and welcome to the Division VI State Championship Volleyball matchup. We have for your viewing pleasure today the Coldwater Cavaliers and the Marion Pleasant Spartans. My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to be play-by-play -play alongside Chris Udholt. Chris, last match of the 50th State Volleyball Championship, and we have two teams who have never won a state championship playing here today. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting one. Uh, division six, the, you know, with the new divisions, they're both division six. This is just going to be a great one. And Coldwater's been here before. Marion Pleasant has not been here before, but Coldwater has doesn't have any state championships. Well, let's talk about Marion Pleasant, the Spartans first. They're out of the Mid Ohio Athletic Conference, they were 11 and three in that conference, 25 and three overall. Tell us what you can about the Marion Pleasant Spartans. Well, they're led by uh, Cameron Cockrell, second team All Ohio outside hitter, and. Um, it wasn't easy for them to get here. In fact, in the district finals, they uh, defeated Newark Catholic in a really grueling five-set match. And the fifth set had a score of 15 to 13. And uh, I saw them play last night up at Vandalia Butler High School for the first time uh, probably ever in the state tournament. Not all of the uh, matches are played in the same venue. So we have four different venues. So, so this is... Uh, 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 unusual because most of the time the two teams have played their semis here at the Nutter Center. So they're, they're playing here for the first time today. Of course, the Coldwater Cavaliers have been ranked number one in the poll all year long. They're 28-0 on the season. They were 9-0 in the MAC play. Your thoughts on the Cavaliers? Well, you and I have seen them, Mark, a few times, and um, they're just solid in every respect. They've got two first-team Ohio players in Blasting Game and Etzler, and their setter, uh, Mia Kanapke, second team all Ohio, but in addition to them, their back row is solid, they're blocking, everything is just solid. Of course, they play in one of the toughest conferences in the state, so they've just seen the very best teams all year, week in and week out. This is Coldwater's fourth trip to the state championship. They're trying to win their first ever. It is the first trip ever for the Marion Pleasant Spartans, and they also, obviously, are trying to win their first state championship. Chris, I'll be back in a moment. We'll have the opening serve after, after this. You're watching the High School State Best Volleyball Tournament on WOSN. Welcome back to the Nutter Center here on the campus of Wright State University. It is the Division VI State Championship Volleyball matchup. The Coldwater Cavaliers and the Marion Pleasant Spartans. Our presenting sponsor today is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Our officiating crew today are two line judges, our Holly Howell and Christopher Howell. Our R2 is Nicholas Pimento. Nicholas is in his 35th year of officiating. This is his third state tournament. And our R1 is Shelby Hitchens. Shelby is in his 11th year of officiating. This is his fourth state tournament. Had the players introduced here. We had the national anthem. This is the conclusion, Chris, of the 50th annual state volleyball tournament. Isn't that something? It it's really just, is. I, you and I both can remember when it was the first year for girls in Ohio to be associated with the Ohio High School Athletic Association, and it certainly doesn't seem like 50 years. That is correct. Opening service, Briley Kanapke bumped across. This will be played across by Cockrell to the middle. Hit for Harlow Hine. Opening point, Coldwater. How about that? The opening point is a kill from a freshman. Briley Kanapke, the freshman, will serve again. 18 aces on the season for her. She line drives one over. That's finally bumped over by Kenzie Davis and tipped to the back row. Another point. That one will go to Kanapke. 2-0, Coldwater. She had to make sure that ball was partially below the net, and it was. To the back row it goes. Hit, block. Hine got that block. Dig by blasting game. Etzler tracks it down. And the first kill for the Pleasant Spartans will go to Cameron Cockrell, a second team All-Ohio player. She has two uh, for numbers here. She has 502 kills on the season. They have played 
in now their 29th match. That's that a lot of good. kills in one year. That really is, although we found out earlier this week, or you did anyway, Morgan Blassie game set a kill record for the Coldwater Cavaliers this year for a single season. Well over 400. Both she and, and Morgan Blassie game, as well as Cam, uh, Spencer Etzler, are over uh, 1,000 kills for their career as Cavaliers. That ball's dumped over by Cockrell. Blasting game shows you why she is the kill leader season-wise for the Cavaliers, and she puts one away. Her team's up 4-1, and Spencer Etzler will serve. Future Stanford Cardinal. Cockrell, big hit for her. 4-2 Cavaliers. And to serve will be Sydney Smith, the setter. She has uh, 821 assists this season. And she's going to chalk up an ace. Our ace sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, lo located in Wapak, Dolphus, and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering, too. It is 4 3. And again, Smith will serve. Blasting game, short set. <laughs> set again. This kill attempt is by Quinn Wilson. Blasting game. Dug out, however, by Cameron Roberts. To the middle it goes. Hollow Hines hit, and what do we have? We have number eight. That was Cameron Cockrell in the net for the Pleasant Spartans, and that makes it 5-3 as the libero will serve. Libero is, of course, Campbell Etzler. Tipped over that time and to a perfect spot by Cameron Cockrell. It's 5-4. Serving number eight. Stepping into play is number 15, Brooklyn Davis. She's a junior. She was second team all conference this year, her league. And Morgan Blassing game makes it 6 4. Boy, she hits the ball so hard, Mark, and she really can direct it. And uh, she must have like a, a second set of eyes, one on the ball and one on the floor, because she just really hits well. Here's Mia Kanapke to serve for Coldwater, second team all Ohio player this year as a junior. Dumped over. Here's the set. Blasting game tips. Got it off a of blocker's hand and she scores. Makes it 7-4. And that's her third kill already. And then Blasting game is a first team All Ohio player. Set. This is hit by Davis by Brooklyn. Brooklyn scores. Makes it 7-5. Brooklyn Davis listed at 5'10". She had 138 kills coming into the weekend. One thing that did not happen this weekend, the OHSAA did not update stats from the matches last night. So our at numbers, least the matches that were not here. Correct. That's a good point. There's a kill. Last the game again. 8-4. Cavaliers, or 8-5, excuse me. Cavaliers have a three-point lead. That back quick set is really tough to defend. Uh, at least at least blocking at the net because it's just hard to track that and that ball just gets past you so quickly. Last game serve goes into the net, makes it now 8-6. Number, number six enters to serve Siri Veladanda. Hits it to Blast again. Kanapke will set. Spencer Etzler's first kill. What's Nine, nice six. about Coldwater is that uh, they've always got an All-Ohio player in the front row, and they always have an All-Ohio player in the back row since the uh, blasting game and Etzler are opposite each other. Here's Kara Kanapke steps in to serve and play in the back row. It's going to be pushed over by the setter, Smith. Spencer Etzler. Tipped over. 
Davis tipped that one. Essler again on the back set. And up in the crowd it goes. 10-6. You got a thousand kill person in the front row all the time, too. That's, that's exactly true, yeah. Here's Kira Kanapke again. Smith will set. Davis hits. Lassie game will set this one to Etzler. And she sets again. Good save in the front net by Cindy Smith. Kanapke short sets. Hine hit that one. And that one will go long. Kensley Davis hit it long and makes it. Well, that was our best uh, rally of the of the game so far. Good defense on yeah. both sides. Now they called that a touch at the net. No, they called it a player in the net. So it will still be a 10-7 Coldwater lead, and to serve will be Cameron Roberts, the left-hander. Kanapke will set Etzler again. Spencer tips it this time and scores. 11-7. Number 10 enters. This is Briley Kanapke. And she serves. Set, hit, Cockrell. Good pass up. And then Cockrell was tipping it to the sideline. Diving effort, not able to get there though. And it's 11 8. And the libero Pendleton will serve. One of only two seniors on this pleasant roster. We've seen a lot of underclassmen playing in the state tournament this year. Kanapke hits it over. Smith saves it. Good hit. It's another Cockrell kill. She's having a really nice opening set. Four kills already. Well, to that point, Chris, there are only three seniors on a Cavalier team. True. Yep. Set. Etzler. Good save, and Etzler just three balls it over. Smith will set again. And Etzler goes with kill that time. It's blocked out of bounds by Cockrell. 12-9. This has been a closely contested set, but it seems like the Cavaliers have always been up two or three points. They got it to four once at 10-6 and 11-7. It's three now, and float serve is a good one. Tip. Good job by the libero to get to it, but not able to keep it in play. Campbell Etzler. 12-10. And the serve will be the setter, Sidney Smith. 45 aces for Sidney this year. To Campbell Etzler. Canapi will set. Blasting game, and that got up in the ceiling. Hit the scoreboard. Hit the scoreboard, yeah. That's going to be four contacts, right? Yep. Correct. <clears throat> Hit it into tape. None of the Cavaliers touched it, although both teams' jerseys look somewhat similar. The Cavaliers on the left of your screen, their black jerseys have orange trim, and Pleasant's black jerseys have red trim. They're on the right side of your screen. Both liberos wear white. Back set to Cockrell. And that also is going to be four contacts, as that one didn't get above the net and over. The lead goes back to four for the third time tonight. Cam Wetzler to the back row, and she will chalk up Elise, famous recipe chicken ace. It's 15-10 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, it might have been out, but the, the player back there, I'm not sure which one it was, just couldn't get out of the way of it. I think that's Cameron Roberts who just rode up on her. She couldn't get out of the way of it. Here's Cam Wetzler again. Roberts plays that one. To the middle, blasting game. When she gets that set, Chris, puts it down right around the 10-foot line. That's very difficult to defend. Yeah. And 
We're going to get our opening timeout. Called by the Pleasant Spartans. They're down six. You're watching high school crew volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today here at the Nutter Center is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living into your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. The scoreboard shows a six point lead for the Cavaliers. Spartans take their first time out. And back to serve again will be Campbell Etzler. She has scored three points on this service run. No, she's just a freshman, but she's probably been to as many volleyball <laughs> games in her life as about anybody in the gym, except, the, you know, maybe the coaches. Campbell serves. Smith will set. That's going to be a four-hit contact as Alexis Hutchinson couldn't get it over. It's 17-10. And Wetzler. And that will be an ace as she line drives it off of Cameron Roberts. 18-10 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. That also is a Lee's famous recipe chicken ace. She's got two aces in this uh, turn of service. And she has scored five points. Smith will set. Cockle hits it to Etzler. And out of the middle again, and that time you can see why Cameron Cockle is a second team All Ohio player. She's got eight kills, uh, excuse me, six kills already of, of their 11 points. And as Blasting Game did earlier, that was right around the 10 foot line. Now she serves. Set, Blasting Game. That short set's really good for him, isn't it, Chris? Oh, it is, and, and the timing, blasting game's up in the air, just waiting for the ball, it, it appears. Paige Ontrop will enter and play in the front row, and Briley Kanapke will take a seat. That's the rotation for this Coldwater Cavaliers. And rolling one across the top of the net and scoring is Brooklyn Davis. Makes it 19-12. That's her second kill. Here's Alexis Hutchinson to serve. She's a freshman. Got 29 aces this year. And she got an ace right there. She line that? drive that one in. Yep. Elise, famous recipe chicken. Ace for the very unpleasant Spartans. Makes it 19-13. And she will serve again. Trailing by six. And that one, you can hear... Cam Wetzler yelling from the time the ball crossed the net. It was yeah. out, and <laughs> she got her teammate to stay away from it. It's 20 to 13. Morgan Blasting game will serve. 57 aces for her this season. And that kill was by Brooklyn Davis as it went off of Blasting game to make it 20 to 14. There's Veladonda to serve. To blasting game. To the mid, to uh, on trap to hit. And it's down. Good diving effort by Maddie Pendleton, the libero, but couldn't save it. It's 21 14. That was a nice decision to back set that. Uh, Coldwater's mostly been going outside and in the middle. Kira Kanapke. We talked about Paige Ontrop the other day. You, you concentrate on other people, and all of a sudden she makes a play. And that's long. 21-15. Cameron Roberts will enter, the sophomore, and play in the back row as she rotates in and out with Brooklyn Davis. Campbell Etzler, Spencer Etzler gets the kill attempt. She bangs it into Pendleton. Campbell Etzler sets. Spencer rolls it over. 
Cockrell got to that one. And trying to go cross court, but unable to do so is Kensley Davis. Just, just a little bit out, outside, maybe just a foot. Riley Kanapke's turn to play. 18 aces for her this year. Wounding up, trying to get it. Oh, was it legally hit? Oh, it was double contact. I thought it was. Just kind of wait for the call that time. Got to block at the net. I think it was Harlow Hine got to it, but not sure. As that was played so quickly. That was blocked by Hine. What do we got? A, yep, a kill from. It was uh, a kill. I, Davis. Yep. I looked at the official to see if he had prolonged contact, or she shoved it straight down. That was not the call. So it's 23-16. Coldwater. Back set. Hine. And there's Cockley again in the middle. That's her seventh kill already. One, well, two, yep, seven. We were wondering how she got 502 kills. Oh, that's and, how. That's yeah. how. She's got a lot of opportunities when she's in the front row. Yeah, just a sophomore, too. Set. Etzler. Spencer Etzler puts her team one point away from taking the opening set. And she will serve that point. Cavalier fans here in number as always. And they're up on their feet. Cockrell pushes to the back row and finds an open spot. 24-18. Sydney Smith's turn to serve. She was the second team Mid-Ohio Athletic Conference this year. Kanapke will set. Hine will hit. And trying to push it to the sideline and missing was Cameron Cockrell. And the opening set will go to the Coldwater Cavaliers at 25-18. Second set coming up next. You're watching the State Tournament Volleyball Match on WOSN. Opening set in the books here. Coldwater with the opening set victory at 25-18. Our presenting sponsor today is Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Chris, you've been keeping stats here today. What uh, big numbers jump out at well, you? Well, for Coldwater, they had 15 kills in the first set, two aces and two missed serves. Uh, Blasting Game had six of those kills, and Spencer Etzler had five of them, and Campbell Etzler had both of the ace serves. Uh, over on the other side with Marion Pleasant, they had 14 kills, so pretty close there, one ace serve. Eight of those 14 kills were by the sophomore Cameron Cockrell. They did miss two serves, and um, so essentially both teams missed two serves. The stats weren't too far apart, uh, but still a seven-point win by... Uh, the Cavaliers. As I look at the stat page the OHS AA provides us, they have Marion Pleasant with six errors as they attempted kills and Coldwater with none. Well, there's the difference in the in the scoring right there. So we will head to the second set. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. It's also available on Roku and on Apple TV. Opening serve in the second set will go to Marion Pleasant Spartans and to Cameron Roberts. Left-handed serve goes to Spencer Etzler. Blasting game will get it, and then Etzler hits. She rolls it to the middle of the floor. Good diving play by Pendleton. Free ball. Etzler. Spencer Etzler gets her team on top. One to nothing, just as they did in the opening set. Well, and they faked that middle hit to uh, 
Hine, which froze the middle blocker for uh, Pleasant. And uh, Spencer Etzler was able to have one-on-one -on -one out there on the outside to get the kill. This allows Riley Kanapke to enter to serve. Blasting game got to that one off the block. Hine will hit, and Harlow Hine will score. And it's 2-0 Coldwater. She's got three kills already. Harlow Hine, 5-11 freshman. Kanapke will serve again. Smith tips it across that time by number 11, Kel Kensley Davis. Spencer Etzler. This will go all the way across to Cameron Cockrell. Spencer Etzler shots blocked. Give that one to Kensley Davis. That's just our first block for a point uh, this afternoon. 2 1. The Liberos turn to serve. This is. Matty Pendleton, 5'3", senior, with 30 aces this year. Esther just runs up and plays it. Here's the set from Pendleton. That was pushed over by Alexis Hutchinson. Good play by Kanapke. And then a really good play by Mia Kanapke. And Cockrell hit that one, but to Campbell Wetzler. Cockrell hit it again and scored. Can you tell me she's a sophomore? No. Yeah, wow. Yeah. You yep. would not know yep. about how she plays this game. Yep, ninth kill. That was a good rally. Certainly was. We're tied at two. Pendleton to serve. Maddie's serves it to her libero counterpart. Spencer Etzler rolls it across the tape. Cockrell. And for the first time today, Marion Pleasant leads at 3-2. Maddie Pendleton serve. Mia Kanapke will just dump it over and put it in a great spot, didn't she? She did. Second kill for her. We're tied at three. Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. Good serve from her. Cockrell pushes it to the back row. Blasting game does the same thing. Kanapke will set again. Blasting game hits it to Pendleton. Cockrell rolls it over. Blasting game hits it again, and this time she hit it out. Maybe the first hitting air for Coldwater. I think you're right. Cameron Roberts waved at it. Fortunately for her, she did not touch it. And uh, in, in the play is number six in the front, or number four in the front row. That's Quinn Wilson. Smith served as setter. Blast again hits that off a blocker, but it hits it into the blocker of Cameron Cockrell. She scores again. It's 5 3 now. The Pleasant Spartans on top. With Sidney Smith to serve again. Blasting game free balls it over. Really good set by the libero that time. Dumped over by Kanapke, by Mia. Quinn Wilson couldn't get her feet quite under herself the way she wanted them to and hit the ball into the net. It's 5 4 still pleasant with Campbell Etzler serve. He's got two aces on the afternoon. Kira Kanapke came in to play in the front row. And that shot missed the sideline, so it's 6-4. Brooklyn Davis plays in the front row. She rotates in and out with Cameron Roberts. Blasting game on the short set, scores again. 
Six five. And she's got seven kills now. Six in the first set, one here. Do you think Mia Kanapke and Morgan Blaster game work together at all? Yeah. Goodness, well, they, they so <laughs> timed up so well so, with that. Well, I'm sure there's been many hours in the gym. Mia Kanapke's serve. And trying to hit it across the net, but unable to is Brooklyn Davis, and we are tied at six. That set might have been just a little bit too low for her. And as you noted yesterday, the net just shakes and continues to shake. Yeah, look at it. Just, yeah. Davis gets another chance. Oh. Campbell Wetzler got to it. Yeah, wow. Yeah, just it about. Went, it went outside the antenna, so she wasn't able to keep it in play. But just a good effort just to get to the ball. Davis has four kills now. Yeah, the net has been addressed, uh, and that'll be uh, hopefully improved by next year. Alexis Hutchinson will serve. Blasting game hits it off of Smith, and they free ball it over. Last the game again. This time Smith can't get to it. We're tied at seven. But such a good hitter. She hits a variety of sets. And, and um, you know, like you said, I'm sure me and her have spent many hours. Morgan Blassingame, one of the three seniors for Coach Nikki Etzler. Eight, seven. Fourth miss serve for a Coldwater. The other two, of course, are Spencer Etzler and Olivia Broering. Veladonda to serve. It's a blasting game. Spencer Etzler. Sydney Smith back sets. Campbell Etzler will set. Cam Butcher gets to that one, too. Mia Kanapke will set blast the game behind a 10-foot line, but she just free balls it over. Cross-court set, Spencer Etzler. And winning the joust at the net is Kensley Davis. Yeah, nice job there. She just pushed it right through the, right through the joust. Makes a two-point lead for the Spartans. Bella Denda to serve again. Kanapke will set Spencer Etzler. Good job by Davis to get to that ball. From the back row, hit by Cockrell. And Paige Ontrop will score. And she's got two kills now. I say you focus so much on blasting game and, and Spencer Retzler as well you should, and then that she gets a set, she always knows what to do with it. Kira Kanapke's turn to serve. And Kanapke plays that one. That's free balled over. And Blasting Game is not able. Oh, Spencer Ressler got wow. to that. They did get it. Wow, how about that one? That one's hit off a blocker. Spencer Ressler just tips it and gets a point for her efforts. How about that point by the Cavaliers? Well, that point was made by Spencer Ressler, not on the kill, but on the running off the court and smashing into the uh, press row over there. Blasting game got first contact. Spencer Retzel ran it down, kept the ball in play, and eventually scored to make it 9 all. <laughs> Tipped over that time by Brooklyn Davis. Spencer Retzler's hit played. Going to go over. They did. Kanapke, blasting game. Eventually, the other Kanapke got to it, and it's tipped to an open spot. Beautifully done by Kensley Davis. It's 10-9. Spartans. And she's got four kills. Kensley Davis. I missed her name earlier. She is one of the three seniors, not just two, that play for... Because, Corey, you... Harlow Hain has to free ball it. See what Spartans do with it this time. 
Pretty easy to go to Cockrell and she good scored. Effort, but yep. another kill. Thought we were going to get to touch the ball. <laughs> Cameron Roberts will serve again. Very tightly played second set. Spence Wrestler out of the middle this time. And Spence Wrestler scores for her team. Got a little confusion there between uh, who was going to take that second ball. Makes it 11 10 Spartans. As Briley Kanapke will enter. Block. Cockrell hit it. Went off the block by Hine. 12-10. That's her 12th kill. And we're just halfway through and not even or so here in set number two. Spencer Retzler. Good play by Roberts. And Cockrell pushes it to the back row where Blasting Game gets it. What a pass. That's straight up in the air. Tracked down by... Riley Kanapke and free balled over by Cam Wetzler. Spence Wetzler got to that one. And Cam Wetzler, or Spence Wetzler scores. 12-11. Pleasant really has done a nice job defending Spencer Etzler's kills, but uh, that one couldn't quite get. So she's got uh, eight kills now. That push attempt over the net by Alexis Davis doesn't fly. We're tied at 12. I thought for a moment we had a Lee's famous recipe chicken ace, but <laughs> we got it back into play. This will be Spencer Retzer to tip it over. And then Campbell hits. Um, Cockle hits, excuse me. And they got four contacts. Cavaliers have come back to take a one-point lead. They led two on early on. This is the first lead in quite a while here in this set. And Cockrell hits it, and it's touched. Right off the block. So we're tied at 13. It's like back and really rip the fingernails off the girls. I hope <laughs> that uh, I'm sure they keep them trimmed. Blasting game hits it. Can they get to it? Yep, Sidney Smith gets to it. And Kanapke hits it down. Smith got to another one. And then able to score is Alexis Hutchins. 14-13, Coldwater. Campbell Wetzler to serve. This has been a real competitive set. It really Mark, has. But I, I sort of feel maybe the momentum is shifting just a little bit here. I felt Pleasant came out really tight in the opening set, but they have played much better in this set. That serve is long. We're tied at 14. And that's the fifth miss serve for the Cavaliers. Brooklyn Davis enters to play in the front row. And that serve misses. Not many mistakes today by Cameron Cockrell. That was one of them. And her team lead, uh, trails by one as Mia Kanaki serves. Set in the middle. Off the blocker, the kill goes to Quinn Wilson. And that's tied just her first kill. Good time for it. It is. Tied at 15. We played 30 points here in this set. And the team has called a timeout. And to serve is Alexis Hutchinson. Mia Kanapke will set blast to give it in the middle. This time she tips it, and then she winds up and gets a better strike at it. 
I don't know if she did that first little uh, tip on purpose or, or yeah. she just mistimed it there, but uh, no doubt about the second one. That's her ninth kill. And she will serve now, Will Morgan. With 57 aces this year. And off the top of the net, that one goes. Campbell Wetzler, wow. what a play she made. And rolled over to Quinn Wilson. She scores again. Kind of quiet so far in this match. She's got a couple of points just recently as Belladonda will enter and serve. Siri has 48 aces this year. Mia Kanapke will set Spencer Etzler. She hit it off of Belladonda, 17-16. Arlo Hine will enter and play in the front row. And as she does so, Kira Kanapke will serve. 5'10 junior. Set. Tipped over and put in a wonderful spot by Brooklyn Davis. Yeah, nice job. Her fifth kill. 17-7. Neither team has led by more than two points in this set as Cameron Roberts serves. Spencer Etzler hits it to the block attempt of well, Kensley Davis. Just pushed it right into the block. Very nicely done. And here's Briley Kanapke. There's three Kanapkis, just in case anybody is uh, wondering about that. I think there's seven or eight of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Cameron Cockrell missed the back line. Pleasant was asking for a touch, but uh, yeah. evidently not. For the first time since it was two to nothing, the Cavaliers were up by two in the second set. And that ace will make it up three. Boy. Our race today are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, lo located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Local and operated Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering, too. And with that two-point lead, the Spartans take their first time out of set two. You're watching the State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. That scoreboard shows the Cavaliers up 19-17 on the Spartans here in set number two. As Briley Kanapke will continue to serve. Tipped over by Cockrell. And she's going to get another attempt, another tip. Mia Kanapke will set Spencer Etzler. And this time, Cockrell hits it hard, but Hines there, and Harlow Hines blocks it. She did, as well as Mia Kanapke, one of the two of them directed to the back row. Cavaliers up three. Briley serves. Cameron Cockrell will get a hit, and it's blocked out of bounds this time by Hines. 2018. That's her 14th kill already. Here's Maddie Pendleton to serve. 337 digs this year as the libero. Set. Hind hits and scores. 21-18. Cavaliers. Hines having a nice game. Four kills, two in each set. Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. Popped up in the air, the libero will set. And hitting it long is Cockrell, 22-18. Coach Root out urging her team on to make a play. They trail by five, 23-18. Float serve, and an ace, chuck that one up. It's a lease, famous recipe chicken ace. 
And it is now 24-18 as the Cavaliers are a point away. A nice little change up on that. She's been serving it pretty tough, but that time she just served it right to zone three there, right in front. Line drive serve. They're gonna go to this side of the court. It's gonna be free ball over by Hutchinson. Mia Kanapke will set blasting game. Smith sets in the middle and hitting it out of bounds with Cameron Cockrell. The Cavaliers will take this set at 25-18. Back-to-back 25-18 sets for the Cavaliers. They're set away from their first state championship. Back to set three in a moment. You're watching the high school state volleyball tournament on WOSN. Our presenting sponsor today is Brook Petroleum. They now offer propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Brook Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. The Coldwater Cavaliers, Chris, that match was tied at 17 in the second set, and they won 25-18. Yeah, they just took off there in the last part of that, but there were 11 ties in that set and two lead changes, and both teams had 12 kills, so very, very competitive even though the score was the same as the first set. And you had Cameron Cockrell with 14 kills, correct? Yep. Yes. Eight in the first set, six in the second. And Spencer Etzler has 10, and Morgan Blassengame has nine. Coldwater will serve first here in set number three. And that will be Riley Kanapke, 5'6 freshman. Good serve here, tipped over by Smith. Spencer Retzer will tip this time. Smith will get up to set, her teammate. Mia Kanapke will set Spencer Retzler. This will be Cameron. Cocker and Cameron missed that time, and as in the first two sets, the Cavaliers score first. Well, Mark, we talked while we were off air there, that's the 16th hitting error from Marion Pleasant, as opposed to Coldwater with just three hitting errors. Riley Kanapke will serve again. This will be free balled over by Cockrell. And out of the middle, hind tips. That time, Cameron Cockrell goes off of two blockers. And she will set this time. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Your 5'11 freshman just set a perfect set to, to yeah. her teammate to put one away. Yeah, it's almost like passing the torch in opposite direction there. Freshman to senior. Riley Kanapke will serve again. But I've said many times, the game knows no age. You know, and it does seem that way in volleyball more and more, doesn't it? The freshmen and sophomores were able to step in and contribute. Well, if I can remember right, I, I was at the 1980 state tournament, and I still have the program. I think I looked recently. I, I, I think that's possible, if I can remember right, that there were zero freshmen in the program. Well, there's a senior just had a kill in the form of... Spencer Etzler to make it 3-1. Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. It's a team in the form of the Coldwater Cavaliers that have lost all of three sets this year. And Pleasant's trying to make them lose three in a row. That ball hit the antenna, and it sailed over my head. Mark, I don't know if there's a state record on this. I'll check the record book, but the least number of sets lost in a season. Oh. I think it would be really tough to beat three. Spencer that's the float serve this time. Back set. Taco hit. Hind hits, and she scores. It's 5-1 Cavaliers. And that's her fifth kill. And you look at who they play. You know, they don't sure. play. They play such a tough schedule. Every Mac school, of course. Then they get out and play the Shelby County League teams. The Fort Laramie won a state championship. They lost two sets to Coldwater this year. <laughs> Ace, that's a Lee's famous recipe chicken, Ace. They're located in Wapak, Gulfus, and St. Mary's. Local and operated Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. And their shrimp's not too bad. <laughs> Six one. <laughs> uh, I like the iced tea. Hetzler pushes to the back row. She can get a kill out of that. 
It's 7-1. Such a smart play. Cavaliers on a roll here in this set. Well, counting the end of the last set, is uh, they're on oh, a 15-2 roll. That they are. That's sort of serve again. That one rolls across the tape. Set in the middle. Last of game will tip, and she scores. It's 8-1. to one. And we're looking at a merry and pleasant timeout. Cavaliers on a roll in the third set. They're up 8-1. You're watching the State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard today brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. And that scoreboard shows the Cavaliers off to a great start here. It's 8-1 to one in this set with Spencer Etzler to serve. She scored five points here in this service run. Tipped over by Smith. And Briley Kanapke free balls it. Oh, man. My goodness, how well played that was. That ball was headed for the wood. Esther got to it. Kanapke tips. And once again, the block is there. Cameron Cockrell, who was so dominant early on, she's having trouble getting points now. I can't get it past the block. Spencer Esther to serve again. It's 9-1. That time, Cockrell was able to score, make it 9-2. to two. It's her 15th kill. But Spencer Etzler served six consecutive points. Her team is up by seven here. Sydney Smith serves. Kanapke saved it, but it went over the net. It did not go over the net. Whoa. What? Yes, it, yeah, there you go. Official realized he pointed wrong. Well, and she is in the front row, if they were questioning that, uh, whether or not the ball was above the net, but she is in the front row, so it doesn't matter. You get a kill for that? You do. That's uh, three for her. Ten to two. Cam Wetzler serves. And that ball will be hit long by Matt, Madeline Malcolm. It's 11 to two. Cam Wetzler serves again. And that time, Cameron Cockrell got a kill. 11-3 and Cockrell will go back to serve. Talk about numbers for the sophomore. 502 kills, 75 aces, 11 assists, 237 digs, and 65 blocks. But she's in year. the back row. She's in the back row now. See if they can find some points. Good block that time on blasted game. Push to the back row. Blasted game tips. Ooh, Good nice diving dig. play. Yeah, that was Cockrell. And Blasted Game says, not this time, I'm going to hit it this time. Well, I think the longer the rally goes, the more it favors the Cavaliers. This will bring in Paige Ontrop to play in the front row, along with Olivia Broering. Mia Kanapke serves. Hitting air, Brooklyn Davis, 13-3. Mia Kanapke's serve. Smith saves it. And then the kill will come out of the middle. I think that was Quinn Wilson. Yeah, I think so. Yep, her third kill. 13 to 4. And to serve, Madeline Malcolm. Sophomore. Not played a lot this year. It's the ball to Campbell Etzler. Blasted game tips to an open spot. 
Diving play by Cockrell, and that one's blocked. I got now we get to touch the ball. 13-5. <laughs> First time in this set that Marion Pleasant's been able to score a point on service. And she hits it long. 14-5, Cavaliers. Missed serve number four. Coldwater's missed five. Malcolm will take a seat as Libero will take her spot. Maddie Pendleton. Last the game serve. Kanapke pushes to the back row. Back set kill attempt and got it on the line to Quinn Wilson. Now the, I missed the call, Chris. I guess the point went I, to Cavaliers. I missed that also. 15-5. I was looking at the official on the sideline. Yeah, let's wait a minute here. I mean, it was easily in, in play. I see Coach Hughes could have discussed it with the official. I thought the, the line judge called it in. Well, apparently I missed my, the call. It's 15-5, and Glasser game will continue to serve. The serve is long. It's 15-6. And Pleasance is thinking, see, we were right. <laughs> That's right. To serve, Siri Villadonda. She's going to switch sides of the court for this serve. Set on drop hits and she hit just a little long. 15 7. Veladonda to serve again. The team needs some points. That's their sister to decide which one's going to hit it over. And then out this time on the kill attempt by Brooklyn Davis. It is 16-7. It is Kira Kanapke's turn to serve. 17 aces for her this season. Set. Hit. And right on the nope, back line. Not, no, he called, he called it, out. it out. Yeah, I, he changed. He changed his mind immediately. So sometimes you can do that. Your first reaction right. is what you think is going to happen. And uh, but I, I agree with the call. Yeah, we're setting pretty much on that line. We, that was a good call. Kanapke serves again. Her team's up ten. And what? Yeah. I think Illegal. a double contact yeah, I here. Thought yeah. that was the call. We wanted to wait and make sure. It's Seventeen. Eight. Here's Cameron Roberts in to serve. She's second on the team for Marion Pleasant with 69 aces this year. Set out in the middle, Cam Wetzler. Sydney Smith went a long way to get to that one. Blasting game was able to dig. And then Etzler hits. Smith will set Cameron Cockrell. That was Hines hit. Cockrell again. Plastic game from behind the 10 foot line. Point, Cavaliers. It is 18 to eight. And before we get Bradley Kanapke's serve, we're gonna get another pleasant timeout. Watching the state tournament volleyball on WOSN. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Second and final timeout of the set. 
called by Coach Corey. And that will allow Briley Kanapke to serve. Waiting for the official, and he gives her the okay. Set. Kill. Cameron Cockrell. 18-9. Good to all Ohio player. We need a point coming out of the time. Yeah, it's her 17th. Wow. 18-9. Coldwater with the libero, Maddie Pendleton, to serve. Briley Kanapke set that ball, and as she did so, Spencer Esford hit it. Good save wow, by Smith. Nice hustle. How about that play? She dove into her team's bench, back ready to play again. Hind tips. There's Smith set. And they played out of the net, and eventually the kill. What a play that time by Marion Pleasant. Makes yeah, it 18 yeah, Smith 10. just smashed into the into the bench and got right back up and came in. And then the, another kill from uh, Cockrell. Pendleton to serve. Short, 19-10, Cavaliers. Spencer Etzler to serve. Set. Block. Blasting game. They got him doubled up at 20 to 10. Second block this set. And Spencer Etzler will serve again. Float serve. Good diving play by Pendleton. Blasting game gets set again and hits it off of Pendleton. It's 21-10. You know, back on that serve, that zone two there is really tough to hit. And that ball would have dropped in front of the spiking line. Four points away from a state championship are the Coldwater Cavaliers. Smith will set. Cockrell tips. Mia Kanapke will set. Blasting game. And she scores again. It is 22-10 Cavaliers. It's her 13th kill. After a close second set, the Cavaliers have taken off in set number three. Smith will set. Cockrell again. And she hits it off a blocker and scores. 22-11. I was about ready to say that she's been pretty quiet in this set, but here, that's her fifth kill. So, that's a 20, let's see, her 19th overall. Cameron Cockrell will serve. Morgan Blasting game hits. This will be free balled over by Wilson. Hind shot will be blocked, but it will fall on the side of Pleasant. It's 23-11. Hind is at two kills in each set. Campbell Etzler. Hit to the back row where Campbell gets to it. Pass. Wow. And blasting game hits the floor with it. It is 24-11. And the Cavalier faithful have come to their feet. Campbell Etzler to serve. I notice all the girls on the bench are wiping the bottom of their shoes. <laughs> Make sure they get good friction when they come running out onto the court. Cockles. Shot keeps her team in it at 24-12. That's her sixth kill here in this set. 20th overall. Cameron, She's having a really nice game. She really is. The sophomore will go back to serve. Cameron Cockrell. Set middle blasting game hits. And that's it.
And for the first time in the history of Coldwater Volleyball, they're going to take home a state championship. Chris and I will be back in a moment. We'll watch the trophy presentation of our final thoughts. You watch the state tournament volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center here at Rice State University. The Coldwater Cavaliers have taken a three-set victory over the Marion Pleasant Spartans to win their first state volleyball tournament championship in school history. And Chris, before we get into anything else, stat numbers and all that, a few years ago, because you and I were both coaches, a few years ago I heard Coach Essler talking to a group of people and she said, I never get a chance to watch my daughter Campbell play. I'm always coaching while she's playing in the middle school. We know what it's like to be coaches, and I just really want to congratulate Coach Etzler and Mike on what they have done with this team to get her to this particular point. And this year she did get to watch Campbell play she as did. a freshman. She's such a great uh, Libro back there. She digs the ball, serves tough, and, yeah, this has to be just a special moment for the Etzler family, of course, with Spencer also, a senior, first team all Ohio, going to who knows when they're going to be able to see her play exactly. again because she's going to Stanford. Well, let's talk a little bit about Mary and Pleasant, how they did today. They're going to finish the season at 25-4. and four. They were 11-3 and three in their conference, the Mid-Ohio Athletic Conference, and they've got some talented young girls and, and really fought hard. The third set just got away from them. It did, and, and you know, the end of the second set, when Coldwater outscored them 7-1, uh, to 8-1, yep. to one actually, and then continued that into set number three when they started off 9-1. to one. That was just the turnabout right there. Let's talk about one more prop because I shared this with you the other day when I saw Coldwater play St. Henry. I read a book about Joe Lewis and, and a guy said I boxed Joe Lewis and one of the worst feelings is to be in the ring with Joe Lewis when he decides it's time to go home. Well, and, and I felt the same way watching this Cavalier team when they're ready to turn it on and go full go as it did in the set number two and in the set number three. That's what you get. Yeah, it was tied 17-17. In yep. fact, set number two had 11 ties and two lead changes and in the other two sets uh, Cold water led from start to finish. They did. Let's talk about the numbers that jump off your page for you stat-wise, Chris. Well, the one I'm looking at right now, hitting errors from cold water, five out of 100 sets. Hitting errors from Marion Pleasant, 24. So 19 more hitting errors. A lot of the other stats are really pretty close. Kills, 39 to 32 in favor of cold water. That's pretty close. Diggs, 63 to 55 in favor of Coldwater. That's pretty close, but that one jumps out right there. It really does. Coldwater led today. Morgan last game had 16 kills. Spencer Retzer had 12 kills in their final match. On the other side, Cameron Cockrell, the sophomore, had 19 kills. But that's a, it's a good volleyball team here at Coldwater, and they beat a really good team today, Chris. They did well. It's a state championship, yeah. so every team is going to be tough. So congratulations to Coldwater. Another MAC championship, but especially that's their first state championship and uh, and only three losses only three set, set losses loss. all year How phenomenal about that? yep two of those came in the tournament this year in the regional and in the state level I want to thank our sponsors as we wrap up our volleyball coverage for this year our scoreboard sponsor ultimate outdoor Lee's famous recipe chicken was our a sponsor and Burke Petroleum was our presenting sponsor today. We appreciate their coverage, not just today, but throughout the year. I want to thank Jacob O'Neill. As always, Jacob does all of our audio work, does all of our camera work as well, and he will edit this all back together again. And most of all, we want to congratulate the Coldwater Cavaliers, the state champions in Division Six Volleyball for this particular season. You've been watching the High School State Tournament on WOSN.